everybody welcome to taste to explore my name is Darlene and on this episode I bring to you a classic Latin America dish um, we are making plantain canoles oh so so good and um, let's walk over to the ingredients so we can get started because it's just that simple For this dish we're gonna need some plantains now you see how dark and black they are but they're very sweet and tender inside and this is what you're going to need for that then we're going to need my already pre-made ground beef piquedillo oh delicious i'm going to give you a link to this then you can use any cheese that you want of course but this on it it is fantastic this is a long horn style cheddar cheese but if you want to use mild cheddar sharp cheddar or any other kind of cheese that you wouldn't like you can certainly do so then I have a pot here heating oil you can use corn oil can canola oil vegetable oil whatever whatever clear oil that you choose to um, cook it in and it's really hot so now let's get right to it so let's get started we're gonna be start cutting up the plantains. Make sure your oil is nice and hot, just like mine is, is bubbling. And we're just gonna cut it down the middle. It's really easy to peel this when they're yellow, when they're really ripe, because when they're green, it's really hard. But this is really easy to do. It's nice and sweet and ready to be used. I'm gonna cook two at a time. Be careful you don't burn yourself. I don't want to crowd my pan and they're pretty large and I'm gonna wait until they're golden brown on both sides and I'll show you how that looks guys so now I'm gonna turn over my plantains and you see how nice if I can get this one over see how nice and dark and brown it is on the other side you want it like that you want to make sure that the oil is high enough and that you cook it nice and golden brown because you want to make sure that the inside is cooked as well. So I'm going to let allow these to cook, cook the rest, and then grate my cheese. And I'll be right back. I'm taking out my sweet plantain bananas. And I'm putting them on a plate with paper towel so they can catch all the excess grease. Now, Ooh. welcome back. Well, my plantains are done. These two I just took out and these two I had taken out a while ago. So we're going to start with the cooler ones because you know the hot ones are just going to be too hot to deal with. So you put one starting with one at a time on your pyrex or whatever um baking dish you decide to use and i'm gonna make a little slits be careful to leave some space because you don't want to cut too much like that so you're gonna leave like about a finger uh, about an inch two of space and just cut in the center you see how it's opening up and just help it open up a little bit as well okay and just stretch it out so what you also want to do is get your oven preheated at 350 because we're going to place this in the oven so the cheese can melt in here and this is a wonderful dish to have for brunch or if you want to be a little fancy and make this for your holiday table it's excellent so I'm just helping it out by opening it up a little bit just to make some room for the ground meat filling. And it's just going to look like a canoe. Fill up your canoes with your meat filling. And push down a little bit as much as you can. Alright, be generous with your meat. Because this needs to be filled in as much as you can. 
So I finished filling up my canoes with the ground meat. And now I'm going to put the cheese. So remember, when you cut the slits, don't cut it all the way deep. Just cut it like in, in uh, I would say what, like very lightly and just spread it open so you can fit the um, ground mixture. And with the cheese, you use whatever, you know, you want. Be generous like I'm doing right now. Um, everybody knows about queso de papa, but if you don't know, is um, cheddar cheese. It's a mild cheddar cheese. How they say it? Um, Longhorn cheddar cheese. Or you can use American cheese or whatever kind of cheese you want. Mozzarella cheese. And we're going to put this in the oven on 350 and it's just going to melt the cheese so it can be ready to eat. And that's it. Be generous or, you know, however you would like to dress it. You can be generous or just leave it mildly put together. I'm going to put this in the oven now so the cheese can melt because everything else is done. And then we are going to eat. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back. Well now let's go and taste these bad boys. I just took them out the oven about 10 minutes ago. They oozy, they gooey, they're also delicious. I cannot wait to dig in. I'm going to take this middle guy right here. All right. Ooh, I don't drop it. Oh, I got to be careful. Okay. There it goes. Now, let's cut in the center. Smoky baby. All right, I'm gonna take a little piece right here in the corner. I'm gonna blow and we're gonna eat. I don't wanna burn myself. Let's go. Pretty hot, but so good. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, guys. So good, so good. You need to try this. Make it for a brunch, make it for dinner, make it for a special occasion like the holidays. But whatever you're doing, try it i know you're gonna like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video and please join in the community and subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you want to see anything else being cooked don't forget to leave me a comment below so until then my friends take care god bless bye bye